Hi, I'm Peggy Evans, and we're here today to talk to you about NetIQ Validator. One of the challenges that we see with rolling out an identity and access management solution is the time that it takes to deploy. It takes a while to be able to get the solution all together and to be able to start seeing real business value. And Validator is a great tool to help you to speed up your deployment and to help you to more quickly be able to see real business value. Brian Amundsen is one of our Validator developers, and he's here today to tell us about it. So Brian, what exactly is Validator? Well, Validator, first of all, is an identity management development and testing tool. It, uh, it really allows us to be able to validate or verify that the identity management drivers are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And how does it work? Well, uh, first of all, let's talk about an identity management uh, scenario, a very small one. We have Active Directory here, we have our Identity Vault here, and a database, whether, uh, you know, this could be an HR database or what have you. Uh, identity management systems work on events. When we, uh, let's say that, that Active Directory is our system of record. Uh, people create users in Active Directory through a web portal or something within their organization. Uh, when a user is created in Active Directory, it then, from the IDM driver, is provisioned to the Identity Vault, which then is provisioned to the database. And so Validator, what it allows us to be able to do is create the triggers that are necessary to simulate, as it were, someone being created in the portal. And then Validator assures that the uh, user identity has been provisioned properly to whatever other systems are out there, in this case, the database. And so simple as that. It simply creates events and checks results. And how does that help you to more quickly deploy? Well, when we, uh, when we are developing drivers, what we do is we establish a baseline driver and then we write a validator test to make sure that the user has been moved from one data source to another. Uh, so when we are developing the drivers, we create tests for every policy we write. And then it's just a simple press of a button to verify that once we create a user here, it ends up in here. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an iterative process as we go through the development process. How many times when you're creating a driver would you typically be doing the same action over and over? Right. I think anybody who's written an identity management driver knows that you are creating users or modifying users in your system of record dozens of times, maybe hundreds of times, depending upon how big your driver is. And it's a very time-consuming process. Creating users, modifying users, deleting users, and then checking to make sure that the user did end up or was deleted or whatever the operation was in the, in the target systems. And just imagine if we had 12 databases out here, how time-consuming that would be to always be looking in different tools to try to verify that the drivers are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So with Validator, you don't have to have a bunch of different tools? Nope, one tool, Validator. So basically what happens with Validator is you just simply create a connection. Let's say that you've got, uh, you've got Validator here. We create connections to all of our data sources, Active Directory, the Identity Vault, and the database. So we can connect to them using their native protocols, JDBC in this case, or uh, sorry, uh, LDAP in this case. LDAP in this case and JDBC in this case. Um, within Validator, you just simply say, what do I want to do? I want to create an object here. So in Active Directory, create a user. Specify what attributes we want in the user. Then we check to make sure it exists over here using just a, a simple does object exist within uh, Validator. And then over here, we make sure that the row exists in the database. And so uh, when we have hundreds of these tests to make sure that the driver is working properly, we just press a button and it, and it creates the trigger and it checks all of the steps along the way to make sure that the driver is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So that in a nutshell is Validator. Thanks, Brian. You bet.